Hello everyone, Popular Paxton here with a little quick unscheduled custom model segment. I know I said in the New Year's Eve update video that the schedule of upcoming videos would be the Truck Movie Part 2, then Queen of the Quarry, but that hasn't been filmed yet. I did finish typing the script, but I haven't filmed any of it yet, so I'm just doing something to hold you guys over. And so, yeah, so this is going to be a quick video to hold you guys over. And then Queen of the Quarry should hopefully be next. And then the collection video. And then maybe after that, I'll try to do the Q&A answers. I don't know what, when I'm really going to do those. Like, I don't know if I'll do the Q&A answers while we're still waiting on Queen of the Quarry. Or, I don't know. You guys can maybe help me decide by posting what you think I should do next in the comments. So anyways, let's just get started on this custom model segment. So what you're looking at right now are two My Custom Engines, which were a former product of the Fisher-Price website. So you may be wondering, what did I do with these My Custom Engines? Let me just turn them around here. And you will see that I changed their faces. So I have three of these kinds of my custom engines, basically the friendly steamy. I have one that's red, one that's blue, and one that's green. And so they all have the same faces, and I just wanted to find a way to make them stand out a little more. So I decided to change the faces. So let's take a look at this green one first. So this green one, if you may remember from one update video last year, his name is Fast Eddie and he's number 85. This was the last My Custom Engine I was ever able to get before it became retired due to Thomas and Friends Wood coming in. So anyways, you would obviously know that the face was taken from a CGI Thomas. I had a couple extra CGI Thomases, one that came from the Thomas's Fossil Run set, so I had to cut the face off with the Dremel. I couldn't like pry it off with a knife or something, unlike how I did with the other face on this one. I'll explain that in a second. So yeah, this Fast Eddie now has CGI Thomas's face. And so yeah, it was just a little tricky to make sure because if you can see the lamp kind of goes over the top of the face a little. So I had to like cut on the sides to take off the face and then I had to like pry off the rest with a screwdriver because I didn't want to like be cutting off the front of the lamp. And then I also had to at least take the tip of my Dremel tool and touch the very bottom of the lamp to try to make room for the face to fit underneath. And you can see that the Dremel tool did cut into the sides of the buffer beam a bit. But you know what, I don't really care about that. So that's Fast Eddie with a new face from CGI Thomas. Now let's take a look at the blue one here. His name is Midnight and he's number 12. And so, his face comes from the 2004 Reneus that comes with the Rock Crusher cars. Now, I was just basically making sure I chose faces that were the same size as the My Custom Engine faces. And basically, I was mainly inspired to use Reneus' face from... Enterprise Engine 93. If you look on his Wikia page, his own Enterprise Engine 93 Wiki, you would, if you look up his custom character, Red Knight, you'll notice that Red Knight also has a 2004 Renee's face rather than the My Custom Engine face. So, yeah, I was probably mainly inspired to do that from him. So, yeah, so. 2004 Renee's face, and unlike the Thomas, I didn't have to use my Dremel tool to take that face off. I mean, since the model was a bit old, and basically I was just able to take a knife and stick it behind the face a little, then I was able to pry it off easily. And so, yeah. 
that's pretty much all it took for that one and you can see of course the Dremel did cut into the edges of the buffer beam a bit but yeah so let me just show you the models of the Thomas and Reneus that I used so yeah there they are with their faces and you're probably wondering where did their funnels go why don't they have any funnels well there's actually more to this custom model segment than just these two, so let me show you what's next. So besides these two My Custom Engines with swapped faces, there's a couple other custom models I want to show you. So here we have Donald and Douglas. So what's new about them is that they have added funnels and touched up faces a bit. So basically... Donald and Douglas's one and Roy models only have like two domes, no funnel like here at the front or anything. I mean, you may have to try to imagine that this first dome was a funnel. But yeah, they're a bit inaccurate. And since they were never brought into the back into the Thomas one Roy range when Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure came out, we were pretty much still stuck with retired models that didn't have an actual funnel. And so basically, I was just going about on Twitter and Turtles and Thomas and Domeless Engine were talking about this one user named the Toad Train who can do some customs. And one thing he does is that he takes older models that don't actually have like painted eyes, like basically like it shows like the black pupils, but the eye parts are like the same color as like the face. I mean like, if I were to just take Thomas, well, Fast Eddie here with Thomas's face, you'll know that like Thomas's eyes are bright white. But if you were to like compare it to like Boko or something, or Splatter and Dodge, you'll know that their eyes are not exactly bright white. So the same goes with Donald and Douglas here. So the Toad Train was making the eyes white and repainting the pupils on some older models like Splatter and Dodge and Donald Douglas. And he also, in one of his pictures where he showed Donald Douglas, he had placed wooden railway funnels on them. And so I decided to get that a try. And so basically I took my Dremel and cut off the first like dome here and then I cut off the domes and I had to touch up the paint a bit as you can maybe see the paint here is a bit of a different shade than the actual model but anyways I cut off the funnels from Thomas and Reneus and I stuck them on there and so I also decided to just try to touch up the eyes a bit so because for one thing, Donald's right eyebrow was worn off and it was just kind of driving me nuts that he only had like one eyebrow over his left eye. So I decided to just touch up the eyebrows a bit. So yeah, there's Donald with like painted eyes and touched up eyebrows and here's Douglas. And so yeah, that's Donald and Douglas with touched up eyes and eyebrows and added funnels but there's actually one more thing I want to show you real quickly and so the last thing that I want to show you guys is Timothy up here on the bridge and what's new about him is that his side rods have been painted as you may know Timothy's model his side rods here they are pretty much the same color as his little like side plates and stuff so, basically, I just decided to paint the side rods. So, I painted these parts black and then painted the rod part gray or whatever. And I think it looks a bit better now. And so, that's pretty much all there is for, these, for this custom model segment. I have two friendly steamies of my custom engines that have swapped faces. I have Timothy with painted side rods. Oh, and another thing about Timothy, um, 
inside this funnel you can know that there's like a piece of metal in it so I painted some black over it to like cover it up so yeah my custom engines with swapped faces Timothy with painted sight rods and Donald and Douglas with added funnels and repainted eyes and eyebrows and so yeah that's it for this custom model segment Thanks for watching everyone and I hope to see you back here with Queen of the Quarry, the collection video, and then hopefully the Q&A answers after that. Goodbye.